Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. A major correction from yesterday, and I gave you bum information. Tolls at the Harbor Tunnel are in effect. I went through twice on Saturday night, and neither time did I get that light saying that the toll was paid or replenished Easy Pass and whatever else it does say. Someone riding with me did say that they suspended the tolls, and at the time, that made sense. Until I got my Easy Pass statement yesterday, and the tolls were on there. So, my bad. I apologize. Anyhow, we do have some news, so we better get into it, shall we? The Anne Arundel County Police are looking into an attempted robbery that took place on June 22nd at the Bank of America branch on Ritchie Highway in Glen Burnie. A 74-year-old male victim had just finished using the ATM when three black male suspects dressed in dark clothing tried to prevent him from closing his car door. One suspect threatened him with a screwdriver demanding money. The victim managed to shut his door and drive away while the suspects fled in a dark-colored sedan. Does this sound familiar? It's happening with more and more frequency here in Anne Arundel County. Anybody with information is encouraged to contact the Northern District Detectives Unit at 410-222-6135 and anonymous tips are always welcome. Chris Trupper, the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Regional Assistant Superintendent, is going to retire at the end of the month and has been appointed as the new Executive Director of the Maryland Association of Secondary School Principals. Truffer, an Arnold resident and Northeast High School alumni, has dedicated 36 years to Anne Arundel County Public Schools, starting as a social studies teacher, later serving as an assistant principal, principal, and regional assistant superintendent. Truffer has also taught leadership courses at Goucher College. In his new role, he looks forward to supporting principals statewide and fostering the sharing of best practices to enhance student achievement. The 14th annual Fashion for a Cause event on June 7th at the Flugel Alumni Center in Annapolis drew 350 attendees and raised over $240,000 for Chesapeake Kids, which is a program by the Hospice of the Chesapeake. Brian Naiman of WBAL News Radio emceed for the third year in a row, joined by Hospice President Becky Miller. Volunteer Counselor Marie Burgess shared her story of losing her son Harvey, a pediatric hospice patient, and how the program's support inspired her to volunteer. The event featured fashion show with 33 community models and food from local vendors, and significant contributions came from sponsors like the HM2 Buck for Hope Foundation. We did a podcast with them. Anne Arundel Dermatology, and m and Bank, making this year's fundraiser a record-breaking success. Now, this one is important. The Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park has announced the 19th annual Boatyard Beach Bash on September 21st, 2024. This event will feature the performances by members of Jimmy Buffett's Coral Reefers Band, including John Frenzy, Doyle Grisham, Eric Darkin, Nadira Shakur, and others. The Floating Collective Band and the Peter Mayer Band will also perform with J.D. Spradlin of Radio Margaritaville serving as the MC this year. General admission tickets are only $150. They include your food and all your beverages and six hours of entertainment. Unfortunately, the VIP tickets, which did offer some exclusive perks, are all sold out. The proceeds do benefit the museum's education programs. And as I tell you every single year, if you want to go snag these tickets right now, because it will sell out in short order. And again, as always, many thanks to everybody who continues to sign up for our daily news recap. If you're not receiving it, you are missing out. There is a link right here in the show notes for you, and feel free to forward it to your friends, family, and colleagues. Remember, it's free, it's short, it's sweet, it comes to your email inbox every day at 7 p.m., all without any pesky paywalls like some of those other places. And as we start to close, today is Ticket Tuesday. And today from Ram's Head on stage, I have two tickets to see the Low Down Brass Band on Thursday night. If you want them, get in touch and they may be yours. And of course, you want to check out ramsheadonstage.com for some amazing shows that are coming up. Good luck. Lots of great music in your future, I predict.
All right, that's a wrap. But first, a quick thank you to you for listening and sharing and letting all your friends and colleagues know about us and also to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. So now you just need to hang tight because we have George Young from DC MDVA Weather standing by with the only locally forecasted weather report you'll find. And all that's coming up for you in just a bit. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. We freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DC MDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DC MDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DC MDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, June 25th. More heat and humidity today, and especially tomorrow for the Annapolis region, with a slight reprieve coming Thursday and Friday ahead of a return to hot conditions this weekend. Look for mostly sunny skies today with highs in the low to mid 90s, with mid to upper 90s expected Wednesday, along with a chance for some showers and storms from there. We'll see another chance for a few showers and storms Thursday, as temperatures and humidity levels drop back down a bit. Thursday and Friday with highs both days in the mid-80s to lower 90s ahead of a weekend that will bring more sunshine and more 90s to the region. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and X for weather updates each day, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting Mac Medics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. Mac Medics is an Apple authorized service provider. Mac Medics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. Mac Medics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit Mac Medics in Severna Park or Latham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call Mac Medics at 410 757 MAX, which is 410 757 6227. It's 410 757 6227. Or visit them online at macmedics.com. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming, and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive, and it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.